at rest. Hello guys! Welcome to Yundel channel and today's share is about staying at rest. Even we are struggling with a lot of problems and challenges in life. Just stay at rest where you are at the moment. And today I am sharing this with you from my own reading from the scripture that even life is hard, even we have a lot of challenges we're facing daily, we can still stay at rest when we are believing God that we are all safe in the palm of His hand. How can we really stay at rest, guys? Even we are struggling with our life. If we believe in God, if we have faith in Him, it becomes easier for us to stay at rest no matter what. Even if it is so difficult, even in hard times, we can still stay at rest. Divine perfect timing when we can stay at rest at this very moment. This is just a reminder for all of us. The scripture said in Colossians 3:15, Let the peace of Christ grow in your hearts. Many of us want to please others so we can look good for them. But we must also know that in reality, we cannot really please, please anyone. It's, it's easy to let people cause us to lose our peace and live frustrated. Too often, we think we have to keep everybody happy, which is in reality not really. We cannot keep everybody Happy. We must stay at rest. Even we have trials, challenges in life, but we end up, you know, when we cannot stay at rest, we end up only trying to change things that only God can change. Therefore, it is very important, guys, that we live. the prayer every day because we cannot please our co-workers we cannot please the people around us we cannot even please our loved ones or our neighbors guys it has been, it has been said that we cannot change anybody remember that nobody can change anyone how can we stay at rest with this we can pray for them we can encourage them, but remember, they have their own free will. We must not let them steal our joy or make us feel guilty because we're not meeting their demands. To stay at rest, we must not fall into the trap of codependent. We must be not be dependent on them that they are stealing our joy and happiness. We must live with our own terms. We must not be trapped of a co-dependent relationship. We must just stay at rest wherever we are at this very moment. And remember, we cannot please anybody and we cannot change anybody but we must learn not to be like a doormat to them our destiny is too important to let people control us we must not do a favor by catering to them because we are enabling their dysfunction and keeping ourselves from moving forward we must have to set some boundaries Have 
your peace in God, not the demands. We must roll our hearts and stay at rest. We must just be grateful to God that His peace and joy roll and guard our hearts as we put our trust in Him. We must ask God to show us where we need to put our boundaries from anyone or anything that is stealing our peace. By God's divine guidance, we must stay at rest and not allow others to control us. We must stay firm. God is always guiding us and leading us His way every day. We must just come unto Him, communicate with Him, ask and talk with Him daily. We must just call Him and communicate with Him through our prayers and meditations. How can we stay at rest, guys? Build up a good self-esteem, self-confidence of yourself. You are unique as a human being. You are what you are. Don't mind other people. If they are ruining your peace and happiness, don't let them steal your joy. You can sob your peace and joy and happiness when you just stay at trust and don't mind them. Run your own race. Each and every one of us have our own salvation. Salvation is individual, guys. We cannot buy it. We cannot ask it for others and we must just work with it with ourselves through our communication with God by reading daily His scripture. Therefore, it is very important to remember what is written in the scripture. He says that, you know, let the peace of Christ roll within your hearts. It's simple as that. Let your at rest. You don't owe anything to other people. You just be polite to them and say to them what you really mean. Do it in a right way. Talk to them when it doesn't fit your schedule. Talk it nicely. You don't need to please anybody. Even you are tired, you just go for a party or whatever because you want to please other people. No. Say no when it not fits your schedule. To stay at rest, you can be more confident with yourself when you have faith and trust in God that today He is leading your way. He is leading your decision today. What you are going to do today, He is there for you. Therefore, as in the book of Colossians says, that let the peace of Christ roll in your heart and we must put this into practice. We cannot just, you know, going around pleasing other people. Remember, we cannot please anybody and we cannot, you know, accept their demands. You have to respect and set boundaries with your own self. How can we really stay at rest, guys? Be confident enough that you are comfortable in your own skin to say no, that today it doesn't fit my schedule. I cannot go with your demands. Be with yourself. Believe in yourself. Be confident with yourself. It is also about loving yourself that you can say no when it is doesn't fit your schedule. Remember, let the peace of God be in your heart. Let it roll in your heart and live a good life. You have your own good life to take care of. You have to love yourself and take care of yourself. Be nice and polite enough to say no. Be confident enough that you are not going to please anybody. You must live your own roles, your own feelings, your own you know, your own demands and not 
by other people demands. So guys, this is Yundal. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for dropping here in my channel today. I am forever grateful to each and every one of you. I love you guys. It's so windy here. I have to go. Thank you so much for your support in my channel. Thank you so much guys. I love you all and bye-bye.